Gun Owners of America plans to give Kyle Rittenhouse a new AR-15 to replace the one that was taken, or offer him a scholarship to go toward his education. If he'd prefer a scholarship or grant towards his studies, he mentioned that he was interested in the medical field, then GOA will sell the gun and contribute all the proceeds for that purpose. His troubles aren't over yet, despite the verdict we all knew was appropriate from day one. That's why GOA came out as a defender of Kyle before the trial. And before the verdict, Eric Pratt of GOA was asked by USA Today to write an article on his thoughts about the trial. He wrote, three criminals attacked Kyle Rittenhouse during the Kenosha riots. Two of them died after being shot by Kyle, including the one who was a child rapist. Another lost most of his upper right arm after he leveled his Glock pistol at Kyle, who then shot the assailant in self-defense. All three would still be alive or uninjured today had they not forcibly attacked Kyle Rittenhouse. Well said. He's now possibly gonna face some challenges in civil court and from the federal government. But I just wanna focus on what Washington can throw at him and his family. For starters, there's Congressman Jerry Nadler, the chairman of the House Judiciary Committee, who said, this heartbreaking verdict justifies federal review by the DOJ. Justice cannot tolerate armed persons crossing state lines looking for trouble while people engage in First Amendment protected protest. Every word of what he said is wrong, but I wanna focus on the part where the congressman is telling the Department of Justice that since a jury didn't come up with a verdict that he liked, the federal government needs to come down on this young man like a ton of bricks. This is called lawfare. Lawfare uses the legal system as a tool to destroy somebody, maybe their reputation or even financially. And in light of what we've seen from the Department of Justice, based off of the reports that they're using anti-terrorism tactics to go after parents who protest at school board meetings, is it absurd to think that Attorney General Merrick Garland would go after Kyle Rittenhouse? This was an incredibly political case before the trial and during the trial. Now that politicization is about to go through the roof. Hopefully, Rittenhouse can get to his new full-time job of suing everybody who savaged him in the media. But if that's not possible, we can't have everyone pulling back from their vocal support. Why? Because if we're not, then the only voices out there will be the ones opposed to the verdict and gun rights. There's a lot of good opinions out there about how this next phase should be handled. But what GOA will not tolerate is lies by the corporate press. None of us care that the same people who called this young man the most disgusting names possible and used their platforms to apologize for people attacking Kyle are now saying they're upset that the gun owners of America and other groups and other businesses are offering their support for him, whether that's in word or deed. Just as he's able to finally think about getting his life on track one day, he's possibly gonna be hit with civil suits, which is what a lot of the experts are saying. Maybe he gets called to testify in front of a hostile Congress, or worse, maybe a Kenosha rioter from that night gets called to testify in front of Congress and lie in front of the entire country. Or maybe the DOJ looks into whatever federal charges they can throw against him. All this is very much in the air right now, but you can begin to see how he's still not out of the woods yet. So to continue showing our support for Kyle Rittenhouse, his family, and his legal team, which has so far devastated everybody in their path, we want to send them all a note to go along with whichever part of the giveaway he chooses to accept. There's going to be a link in the description for you to do that and we're going to pass it on to him when we can. What you'll notice from this website is it's simple, clean, and gives you the opportunity to write your own message to him. Nothing more. Check it out for yourself. Throughout the entire trial, Americans in every state and of every background showed their support for him as he was being harassed by the police, lawyers, and politicians. None of us, GOA or you, just sat back and let the worst voices make their case. Until the highly politicized Department of Justice and the hugely partisan Congress say that they will not harass Kyle and his family anymore, meaning they're not gonna need legal representation, it's important we all continue to be involved. As a national organization, Gun Owners of America must show support for every American exercising the Second Amendment who could inadvertently find themselves under similar attacks and national criticism. Specifically, when the Second Amendment is on trial and used to wrongfully prosecute. And don't think for one minute that the Department of Justice won't try to throw everything at him if they think it's in their political interest to do so. For instance, prosecutors in the case that Kyle just went through tried to hit him on a gun charge, but that law only applies to short-barreled rifles and short-barreled shotguns. Kyle had neither. 
but that then stopped the government from trying to put him in jail using that gun control law. Thankfully, that was dismissed. But none of that means that the federal government won't try to bootstrap all sorts of other awful charges or accusations against him just because they think they can. Kyle, the family, and the lawyers deserve credit for fighting through this. But let's not pretend this is over.